mate of mine a while ago gave me this power bank um, USB power bank to take a look at he says it wasn't working anymore and uh, when it was working he suspected that the label didn't match the output um, in amp hour milliamp hour it wasn't nearly that in this case uh, 6300 uh, milliamp hour um, so uh, I said yeah I'll take a look at it I mean I don't know if I can fix it but um, but when I plugged it into charge overnight it did actually come back to life and uh, um, I think it is actually working so as you can see it, uh, there's an indicator there and it works um, but I opened it up anyway um, I was quite brutal with it because I thought it was broken so I kind of damaged it a bit but anyway it's open all in the name of science um, the interesting bit about it was um, it looked like the positive and negative was incorrectly connected but it, it turns out they are correctly connected it's just that the uh, the red lead is the negative and the black lead is the positive go figure how they wired that up so all these 18650 cells are in parallel but the curious thing is these two sets of 18650s don't seem to be connected to anything so you have these connected as one in parallel and then the positive and negative that that, that goes to this little board here uh, that gives you your 5 volt USB output for charging but these cells here are simply connected to absolutely nothing so and they're a slightly different color so they're just sitting in there loose and um, it's a bit strange so I mean what's the point in having um, lithium cells in there that don't do anything there's another one here it's simply not connected there's no spot welding on it or nothing so when I took one of these and I shook it next to my ear so it sounds like there's sand inside of them so these are fake they're not real cells so only these cells are the ones doing any work these are completely fake well I don't know if there's sand inside but I know there's no voltage across them so I think what we should do in this video is we should take these apart and then uh, verify that they're fake and um, possibly put genuine cells in there to increase the capacity of these fake cells they put in here so let's uh, see what's inside these cells let's see if we can nibble them open somehow um, now I'm fairly certain that there's nothing in there that's um, going to explode or catch fire because I don't think these are real so um, I can zoom in a bit I suppose take a look I mean that's quite a cheeky thing to do just so that the, it feels heavy and does it feel lighter you put these fake sand filled cells in just to make it feel the right way just nibble along the edge there I mean, I don't know if any of you have ever encountered this before, where a power bank has fake cells inside. I mean, completely fake, just filled with sand. I've heard of uh, electrolytic capacitors being filled with wax, but uh, let's see if we can get in there. Look at that. Will you look at that? Nothing but sand. Fake 18650s filled with bloody sand. Can you believe it? Well, let's open the second one. I'll put this in the bin. I think that's enough. Let's get in there. That's the cheekiest thing I've ever seen. To make these cells feel heavy, they fill them up with sand. 
Terrible. That's a terrible thing to do. Anyway, so I think uh, what we need to do Since these are all in parallel, we can just connect two more 18650s in parallel. Now I've got an old laptop battery I took apart and I measured um, that it had a few parallel sections of these, three of these in parallel. Sorry, there's two cells in parallel and there's three of those in series. And they all tested bad, but these two tested okay. And since this is old already, um, and I know they're not going to be matched, but it's going to be a lot better than these sand-filled cells, I think. <laughs> so, uh, so let's whack this in with the odd uh, wiring there. My red will be positive. These uh, these weird batteries here, where they've made the black positive, which is really confusing. In my book, red should be positive and black should be negative, but they have swapped the two around. So, I think we'll just re-wet them with a bit of solder. And I think we should test the cell voltage first before, before we carry on. You have to be careful with soldering batteries like this because if you make a short circuit, you could potentially have a fire. Red is negative and black is positive. All right, so we've got four volts. Let's test these ones. My green eighteen six fifty laptop cells. Four volts, so they're pretty much, pretty much at the same charge level. So on my white wire that I've tacked on there, that's going to be our negative. And my red one will be positive. Going to their black positive. Right, let's check that combined cell voltage if nothing's getting warm or hot, so we're good so far. Point zero five, very good. Right, so now the cover goes back on. Hopefully, these clips aren't too broken. I think this needs to be massaged a bit. The plastic is a bit broken and bent. Well, it's got to be better than sand. Kind of back together ish. Yeah, I think it might need a bit of super glue. It turns on. So uh, I'd say that's a repair. So we can put it on charge and see how it behaves. The power button has spun around. But what a what a naughty thing to do. To put sand inside these batteries just so it feels heavy, so you feel like you're buying the weight and the 
the product feels solid. So I don't know if any of you have ever encountered anything like this before. Um, but uh, please let me know in the comments if this is something common that uh, you get on these cheap power banks that claim to be a higher capacity than they really are. I mean, it works. It's just you're being cheated. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to take apart. Um, or if there's anything that you think that's worth buying to modify. Or anything that uh, might be of interest to make a video about. And I'll do a video if I can. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, then at least uh, YouTube will show you more of my videos. And you might find some of them really interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.